Thank you. <clears throat> well, this is very exciting. And uh, what a miracle for you to be here, and what a miracle to be here with you in the flesh again. Um, thank you. Where I'm going is um, uh, to maybe expand what, I mean, this was a perfect introduction, <laughs> this last one. Um, where I want to go, where I'm going is um, to a place of um, deliberate healing and maybe even better, the art of allowing continuous and spontaneous regeneration and rejuvenation. <clears throat> well, it will, we, we will be hard-pressed to expand that subject much beyond what we just did. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In other words, it opened, you felt it, it's there, let's not effort about it. You understand what we're getting at? In other words, there's just no point in, in making something because then we cross the line. Then we act like there's something serious going on here and there isn't. You good with that? Totally good with that. <clears throat> We're so glad you're good with that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> where I'd like to go, where I'd like to go is to the place where I, I know it's possible and you've talked about um, the, the energy and the intelligence that's created universes is available to us. And not only that, not only knowing about a Taoist master that lived for 200 years and regrew two entire sets of teeth, I would like to, to invoke the place where, of allowing um, to totally regrow all of my teeth. Well, we think that's a really good idea. We'd get right on that. <laughs> well, I feel like it's possible. So, so it, Every, everything, any, if this time-space reality has the wherewithal to produce a desire within you, it has the wherewithal to give you the full-fledged manifested version of it. So what is required is a desire and a belief, an absolute knowing in that, you see. And so, but what we notice as we visit with people about that is that just the idea of regrowing teeth put your attention upon the teeth that are not there and that's the rub about everything that's the rub about finding a mate that's the rub about I mean the rub we will find something that is more universally acceptable that that is that is the the challenge that many people have about about uh, finding a house that they want to live in or affording a house that they want to live in in other words the thing that gets in the way is so much awareness of what is that what is dominates the vibration and keeps recreating what is so it requires a suspension of attention of what is and attention to desire in its purest form and that's why we encourage you to let it be a mood building experience rather than a thought directing experience it'll be easier to do that so if you get to the heart of what you want and why you want it and focus upon the why of it rather than upon the specifics of it you're more likely to deactivate the unwanted vibration and activate the wanted vibration now we've been quibbling about the word deactivation for a long time because when you when it is important that you deactivate something you're often looking right at that thing you want to deactivate and activating it so it's about focusing so completely upon what you want that the absence of what you want is no longer active in your vibration and the reason that for most people things don't change that much relative to their body is they have so much self-awareness about their body now you can shift this as you as you let your self-awareness be about your mood instead of about the wrinkles under your eyes if you let your self-awareness be about your mood rather than the amount of money that's actually in your bank account if you will become mood based rather than fact based the facts will change really good that's as far as we want to go on that okay really good thank you yeah.